The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sixth chapter, text 33 to 40. Given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded in September of 1966 in New York. Atma Upamanya Sarvatra Samam Pashyati Jo Arjuna Mi Samphara Sukhaṁ Bhāja Divāja Dukhaṁ Sajyogi Parama Mataha Now we have been discussing for the last few days about the perfect form of yoga. Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is teaching or doing directly the perfect form of yoga. If you actually want to perform the yoga system, then here his authoritative statement by the uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, we have discussed in detail now. After hearing the system, Arjun uh, is replying. Just mind that, that it is, the whole thing was being described in the battle sea. In the battle sea, this whole Bhagavad Gita was taught to Arjun in the battle sea. And when, when Arjun was just going to release his arm, on the opposite party, on the enemy's party. He thought, he got a sentiment, so why this fighting with my own kinsmen? That was his illusion. And uh, to eradicate that illusion of Arjuna, this Bhagavad Gita was uh, explained by Lord Krishna. Now you can understand how much time could be uh, I mean, to allow for this discussion. Because the battle tree immediately has to be fired. Everyone is ready. So, now, and at most, one hour. I don't think that is at most. So, within this one hour, the whole Bhagavad Gita was discussed, and Arjun changed his decision and his thought. Now, within that time, he is also instructing. Or John, about the yoga system. Now, after hearing the details of yoga system, how to sit down, how to keep the body straight, how to keep the eyes half closed, and how to see the uppermost part of the nose uh, without diverting your attention, and in secluded place, in a sacred place, alone, all these paraphernalia is described for performing perfect yoga. Now, Arjun, after hearing <coughs> everything from Krishna, he is replying, Arjun Vata, Joyam Yogasvaya Prokhya Shamena Madhusudana Itasya Aham Napashyami Chanchalatya Siteng Siram Now, Arjun says, my dear Krishna, the details, uh, which was not very detailed, but a summary of yoga system which you have prescribed, and you asked me to follow, I think it is very difficult for me, on account of my agitated mind, chanchalatya, chanchalatya means uh, agitated mind. Uh, we must always remember that we are in a circumstance, material circumstance, where uh, every time, every moment, our mind is agitated. Uh, we are not in a very comfortable situation. Uh, we are thinking that this uh, situation will save me for further uh, anxieties of my mind. But when I reach to that point, I, I feel that the anxieties have increased. It has not decreased. Because the nature of the material world is like that. You cannot be free from anxiety. 
That is the nature. So we are simply trying to make a solution of our anxieties by different methods. But the place is such that it is not possible to make a solution of anxiety. Now, although he, he cannot be a false pretender, he frankly says, My dear Rajo, the system of yoga which you have prescribed, Joyam Yoga Staya Prokta, the, the summary, the description of yoga system which you have uh, described, Samena Madhusudana, Krishna's another name is uh, Madhusudana. Madhusudana means he killed one demon whose name was Madhu. Uh, therefore, uh, God's names are different according to different activities of God. Uh, God has got uh, innumerable names because He has got innumerable activities. Suppose we are part and parcel of God, we have got innumerable, we cannot remember uh, how many uh, activities, how much activities we have engaged in uh, that are from our childhood up to this time. So just uh, about God, He has got, He is unlimited, therefore His activities are also unlimited. So He has got unlimited names also. He, Krishna, of course, is chief name. Uh, but uh, he has got many other unlimited names of uh, So one of the names is Madhusudana. Madhusudana means he kills a, a demon, a very great demon. Uh, therefore, he, since then his name is Madhusudana. So what is the purpose of uh, Madhusudana? Why he is addressing, he could uh, address uh, Krishna directly because he is more known to Krishna as friend, Krishna and Arjuna. Why he is asking, why he is saying Madhusudan? That means this mind is a, as a big demon just like Madhusudan. Oh. If it is possible to kill the demon, then we can attain yoga. Okay. There is a particular purpose of Madhusudan that you are a killer of Madhusudan, Madhu, demon. Now, I think my mind is uh, stronger than this Madhu Dhimma. See, if you can kill it, then it is possible for me to access this yoga. The mind is so editing. Chantalam himana krishna pramati balavadhyam tasyaham nigrahan manne vayureva sudhuttara. He is describing his deficiency. That, my dear Krishna, my mind is so much and restless, educated. Chantala. Chantala means restless. Chantala Himmana Krishna Pramati. Pramati means just like a mad Pramati. Without any brain. Pramati. And Balavat. And very strong. Oh, mind, mind is dragging to some, somewhere else. I am trying. Ah, oh, oh, mind. Don't go there. Oh, the mind says, no, I must go. I must go. And sometimes we agree. All right, let me go. So it is very strong. So, Arjuna <coughs> is saying, Satsang Nigraham. Now, you, are, you have the whole process of your yoga system. Is The summon substance of yoga system is to control the mind. The educated mind to be controlled. And the mind has to be focused on the super soul. That is the whole purpose of Job. Now, uh, Arjuna says, the Tattam Nigraham Manne, the, the mind is so educated that to cut down the mind is as impossible as we want to stop uh, a hurricane. Suppose there is a hurricane. It is blowing so strongly and if one stands before the hurricane and facing it, no, I will stop it. Is it possible? No. Just see. Now, you can just imagine Arjuna, five thousand years before, and 
He was understanding from Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita from Krishna, his friend. Just, just imagine what is his qualification. He is direct friend of Krishna. And he is a great warrior. He has got uh, uh, administrative capacity. And he is, and uh, at the same time, his knowledge, uh, comparing his knowledge, this Bhagavad Gita he understood within one hour. This Bhagavad Gita, which is not understood in one life at the present moment, he understood this Bhagavad Gita in a one hour. So how much intelligence he was, and he belonged to the royal family, all facilities was, were there. And he, he is a, he is managed, well, uh, mm-hmm. accepting. Oh that it is not possible for me. Now do you think what was impossible for Arjun five thousand years before in such favorable circumstances, is it possible for you to discharge? Do you belong to the uh, uh, Arjun category? No. We are thousand times lower than Arjun category. And what was impossible for Arjun do you think it is possible for you? Any sane man will do that thing that what was uh, in a Bengal, in a Bengal, uh, Bengali path. There is very nice uh, comparison like this. That Bara Bara Ghora Galo Rasatal Beto Ghora Male Kato Jog. That means you know the animals they can swim over the river. So there was a big overflowing river. So uh, at that time there was no such carrying uh, boats and seas. So everyone had to cross the river either by uh, small boats or by trees. So generally the animals were allowed to swim over, to cross over the other, other uh, banks, and men they took small boats and they. Now there was very good current. So many horses they uh, swept down like the current. And one lean and thin horse came, he is asking, oh, let me know how much water this is. You see. Similarly, if what was impossible for Arjun, such a solver, such a advanced, uh, and I mean to say, in every respect, and directly a friend of Krishna, he is admitting that Krishna, this process, is not possible. Well, I am a, I am a military man. Uh, I have to look, uh, look after the administrative affairs. So how can I concentrate my mind in that way which you have prescribed? So it is not possible. It flatly denied. It flatly denied. And uh, he never attempted it all. Because from the history of Mahabharata, uh, we don't find that Arjun ever went for meditation at the yoga system. No. Never. But still, he was satisfied by Krishna that he was the only man to understand Bhagavad Gita. He was the only man. Why? Bhaktosi, because you are my devotee. Priyosi, you are my very dear friend. Ah. So, with such a nice certificate and such favorable condition, it still he refused Chantala se Chantala se Manap Krishna Pramati Balavad Griham Sashaham Nigrahan Manne Bayuri Vasudhiskaram. Bayuri. Just it is impossible to confess the control the hurricane wind. Similarly, it is impossible for me to control my mind. It is not possible. Then how to control the mind? That the same thing, Krishna consciousness. You can control the mind if you fix up your mind always in Krishna. That is the only way. Savai manat Krishna padaram in the Vatam Sivaitun Sudanaga. That is the only perfect yoga. Our subject matter for today's lecture is perfect yoga. 
this is this Krishna consciousness is the perfect form of yoga. That is admitted five thousand years before. At that time, there was all circumstances very, and in Shastra also, it is said that Krita jab dhato Vishnu Krita yam jagato makai dapare parichayam karo tad hari kirtana. We will find in the Sumat Bhagavatam twelfth canto, Shukdev Goswami is recommending. So Maharaj Parikshe, that Kriteja Dhyato Vishnu, in the Sattvaju, when people used to live for ten millions of years, at that time this yoga system was nice. That for that time, Kriteja Dhyato Vishnu, what was achieved, the success which was achieved in the Sattvaju by this yoga process of meditation, what has achieved in the next yuga, Trita Yuka, uh, Jagato Makhari, by offering great sacrifices. And the same success was achieved in the next yuga, Dabra Yuga, by worshipping, temple worship. And the same success you can achieve simply by chanting Hari Kita. So this is the perfect form of yuga. Kite jad bhayato vishto kritayam jagato makai dhapare parichajyayam kalotad harikirtano. So, now Arjun flatly says that, my dear Krishna, the process which you have described is very nice process, but so far I am concerned, I had made that it is not possible. It is not possible. Now, we have to think, that what was not possible for Arjun in such favorable condition and five thousand years before, how is it possible for me, a teeny living entity, uh, is, and disturbed by so many things at the present moment? My, my, uh, the and has they used to be for ten, ten millions of years, and it is very difficult to uh, leave for fifty years or sixty years at the present moment. Uh, at most a man leaves for six years, that's all. Uh, then again, uh, we are not so much advanced, we are always discharged in our circumstances. There is disease, there is war, there is pestilence, there is famine, uh, so many disturbances. So our uh, duration of life is uh, smaller, right? and at the same time we are disturbed, and we are not intelligent. And we are unfortunate at this instance. At the present moment, you will find uh, eighty percent people, they are unfortunate. If we compare what is fortune and misfortune, then we will find in every country, eighty percent people, they are unfortunate. And therefore, uh, this world is getting to communism, because they are fighting. They are fighting. Uh, so this is the condition of the present day. How can you perform this such difficult process of yoga which was refused by your view? That is my problem. It is not possible. If you are attempting such difficult process in a pseudo way, then you can be satisfied in your own way, but you will never achieve success of the yoga. Now, you must know it clearly. The yoga system uh, is not possible in this age. If you want to prosecute any yoga system, this bhakti yoga, Krishna consciousness, and chanting Hare Krishna, that is recommended in Vedic scriptures, that is introduced by great authority like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and you will find in the Bhagavad Gita, Mahatmana Sumantrasa Devi Prakriti Asrita Bhajantya Nanna Manasuhu Jatya Bhuta Adimabhyam Satatam kīrtaṁ tammāṁ yatantasya dhirabhrata namantasya mitta jittu vāsati satatam kīrtaṁ tammāṁ. All is glorified. They are mahātmā. They are great souls. If you want to be great souls, in terms of the Vedic literature, in terms of Bhagavad-gītā, in terms of great saints and sages, 
then you have to adopt this Krishna consciousness as joint in a parish. <coughs> no other process will be uh, possible. It is not impossible. Just imagine a personality like Arjun <coughs> with all facilities of life. And five thousand years before, the circumstances are different, and still he did not. Oh. So yoga system, actually, if you uh, simply uh, uh, making a so, so bottle of meditation, if you are satisfied, oh, that is a difference. Make yourself a so bottle. But so bottle uh, demonstration will not make you successful. Oh. It is clearly according to Goldberg. So bottle demonstration will not make you successful. You have to be really bottle of medicine. Then it will cure. You know, of course I hear that in India we have got some so bottles and medicine for uh, some red water big put into the big bottles and it, uh, electric light. Uh, that means advertisement. Here is a bottle of medicine. But that is a sober. Uh, red water. So red water will not cure the disease. You, you must have really actually mixture, fever mixture. Uh, so that fever mixture is very difficult. Now Krishna says, Krishna does not say, oh, you are my friend, uh, you are so favorably situated. Uh, how you deny it? No, you cannot deny it. Now he gave so much stress on the fighting. Oh, your Kshatriya must fight. But so far the Jova system, he gave him the idea, this is the Jova system, but he is not stressing. He says, Atamsaya Mahavaho, Mano Duddhi Gahana Chalam, Abhyasena Tu Kauntaya Vairagina Ta Griyate. Yes, I admit, it is very difficult. He also says, yes, my dear Rajya, it is very difficult. Atamsaya. Mahava, oh, you are mighty, uh, uh, mighty uh, soldier. But it's still, I think, it is, what do I think? It is uh, nice, it is really sad. Asamsa Maha, Mono Dunni Gaham Chalam. Mind is very difficult to control. Yes, what do I say? But it can be controlled. How? Abhyasa in a country. If you practice, the mind can be controlled. So the controlling of the mind by practice, vairāgyana. Vairāgyana means by renunciation. Vairāgya means renunciation. And what is that renunciation? Ah. Oh, I cannot renounce even smoking. I cannot renounce even oh, uh, drinking so many things. Uh, I cannot renounce so many things. But still, I am going to yoga class for practice. Is it possible? So many rules and regulations are there, and I am unable to give up even the small things walking. Here it is said, Bhairagya. Oh, there is a, oh, I mean, the big list of Bhairagya. You cannot do this, you cannot do this, you cannot do this, you cannot do this. Uh, and the whole list is summarized that you cannot have any illicit connection with woman. You cannot eat any non-vegetarian dish. You cannot be addicted to any kind of intoxication. And you cannot take part in any kind of gambling. At least these four things. Uh, these four things include everything, all kinds of things. Uh, so we have to check how much we have been able to discard these things. Then we are Then I can control my mind. Uh, a controlling mind is not so easy thing that I go to the store and purchase something. Uh, no. So abhyasa is not to count Vairāgyana ca dhīyate, so this vairāgya can very easily practice when you are in Krishna consciousness. Oh. You are practically saying, these four things our students 
have very easily given them. Because they are serious about Krishna consciousness. This is not advertisement. Yeah, you can ask. There are many students here uh, who are uh, who have taken up this, uh, I mean, say, philosophy very seriously, and they find it easy. Uh, they find it easy. Bhairagya automatically becomes. Uh, it is such a nice thing. Uh, it is such a nice thing that easily you become Bhairagya, detestful to all these things. We do not discourage, I mean to say, uh, sex life, but we discourage illicit connection with man and woman. Sex life cannot be discouraged because you have got this body, material body. Sex desire is a demand we have to satisfy, otherwise we shall go ill, as we have to eat something, as we have to sleep for some time. So sex life is also required. So we cannot discourage it. Neither all the Vedic literature is discouraged. But Vedic literature cannot allow you, if you actually serious about advancement of spiritual life, then you cannot uh, encourage uh, illicit connection. No. I request all my young students that you get yourself married. And recently I have performed myself one marriage ceremony. Or two of my students, uh, they have been married, actually. So we don't discourage what is necessary, but we cannot allow ah, illicit things. Oh. So these are called Vairāgya. So Vairāgya means we have to regulate our life. Unless we regulate our mind, the mind is always agitated. And if we uh, be addicted to all these things, then more irritation will come. Oh, if you have a illicit connection with Omar, oh, the mind will be always illicit. Uh, if you are intoxicated, oh, mind will be more illicit. Uh, uh, if you don't take, I mean to say, you know, food stuff in the goodness, uh, very strong and pungent and uh, animal uh, food stuff, then our mind will be more illicit. Uh, and so far gambling is concerned, oh, sometimes we have to commit suicide. There are history of gambling clubs that when a person loses everything, he comes suicide and he's thrown out. Oh, I have heard that Europe, in Europe there are many clubs. They go for gambling and they lose everything, whatever, and they come suicide. And the club and the proprietor throws it in this way. There is no law. Oh. <coughs> I have heard, of course, I do not know. You may know better than So, if we want to control the mind, then we have to and adopt these regulative principles of life. Huh? Not that we have to give up, but we have to make the regulation. By that, then it will be possible uh, uh, to adopt. And the best thing is that engage your mind always in Krishna concept. Uh, we are trying to engage our students twenty-four hours, either in this way, that way, this way, that way, in Krishna. That is Saman. Saman, transcendental situation. Yeah. You can eat, you can enjoy, you can dance, you can uh, sing, yeah. uh, you can watch, all things for Krishna consciousness. That will automatically make you renounce all of life. But if you try to follow uh, this uh, yoga system which was possible in the Sattva Yuga uh, some millions of years before, and if you want to adopt that, all this ah, If you want to be satisfied becoming a sobhaka, then that is a different thing. Remain a sobhaka. Ah. But if you want really actual success, then you, you cannot adopt that something. Ah. Ah. Now Krishna says, yes, one who has not been able to control his mind, uh, yoga dusprapa, uh, the success in yoga is actually never possible. Dusprapa, dusprapa means difficult to achieve. It is my mati. Yes, I think you are right. You are right. Vashyatmanatu jatata sakko avatum upayata. But one who is determined, uh, 
she can find out the ways and means how uh, she can control the mind. It is serious. So this is the way. If you become Krishna conscious and uh, try to follow the principle, then this is the nicest possible way of controlling the Vashyatmana, Vashyatmana to Jatata Satko Abhaptum Upayata. Upayata means you can find out means, ways and means you can control. Arjuna Abhat. Now, so far the description. Now Arjuna did not further say. Arjuna says that it is impossible for me. And Krishna also says, yes, it is a difficult process, but if you try, you can do it. No further distance. Because both of them were not very serious about it. It is a process, recognized process, but it is very difficult for the human being at the present moment. The process is not uh, uh, rejected. Bhagavad Gita accepts the yoga process. That means the process is recognized. It is a sign. But at the present moment, uh, even five thousand years before, it was impossible to be practiced. Uh, now, how you can imagine that five thousand years after uh, it has improved the condition so that you can practice this system? No. Therefore they did not. Either Arjuna or Krishna, both of them uh, indulged in discussing further on this point. So next point Arjuna is discussing. Ajati Sadhyapeta Yoga Chalita Manasa Aprapa Yoga Sankhidhim Kangotin Krishna Gatsati. Now he is asking, my dear Krishna, uh, uh, these things are being discussed. The Yoga system, Yoga system, it's not only that Yoga system, the Bhakti Yoga system, the Krishna consciousness, this is also Yoga system. Now, uh, many students come to practice this yoga or that yoga. Now, somehow or other, they may not be successful. They may not be successful, or half finish, or one fourth finish, everything has got a course. Uh, so, mm. just like if you want to be a medical student, there are five years, six years course. If you study for two years and give it up, then you cannot have that statue. Or uh, you cannot be recognized as a medical practitioner. But if you complete the course, you get the university degree, MD, doctor of medicine, or something like that, and you are recognized, you can practice. Now here it is saying that Ajati Sadhyapi, somebody is attracted that I shall make my life successful by the spiritual process, the yoga system or jnana system or bhakti system uh, without inclination because this inclination also does not come ordinarily. Uh, that also requires good aspect in the past life. Uh, this inclination for a spiritual advancement, manushanam process, out of millions of men, uh, few only try for making perfection of the human life. And Jatatam of the and those who are trying for perfection, out of them a few only can understand what is God. The God understanding is not so easy. Now therefore, he, he says, Arjun says, that Ajati Sadhyapeta, <coughs> one has got some faith for spiritual advancement of life. Yoga Chalita Manasa. But from her other, and she thinks it halfway and then uh, falls down from the process. A prapa yoga samsiddhi, he could not achieve the perfection. Sagotin Krishna Nasiddhi, then what happens to him? Because happiness, just like uh, a person was studying for medical uh, certificate and uh, medical qualification. And he, out of six years, he simply performed two years. Oh, neither he is a doctor, neither he is a class. 
is being useless, he becomes useless. So Krishna uh, is being asked by Arjuna whether a person who is trying for perfection of life and spiritual advancement, if he finishes uh, only a portion or half, so what happens to him? Does he become useless or worthless, simply wasted time? Kachinna uvaya vibhrashta chinnabhra mivanasati. Is it not like that, that a, a cloud assembles? Ah, and when the clouds are compact together, then there is possibility of rain. But if by, if by wind it is broken, now there is no possibility of The example is very nice. Kachit, kachit, na umaya vibhrashta. There was clouds, there was thunder, uh, thundering, but there was no rain. Uh, there was no rain. Uh, it is especially in the morning, uh, these are some of the rules one may know, that in, in the morning if there is uh, assembly of clouds and there is thundering, you, you must surely know that there will be no rain. Uh, if there is rain, uh, it will be a drop only. Uh, there will be no much rain. Babhara me lumkya. Prabhate, these are very interesting, if uh, one should know. Uh, Ajayadudhe, Munishraadhe, uh, Prabhate mega dumbare, uh, dampate kalhe chaiva, babhara me lumkya. Babhara me lumkya. Ajayadudhe, fighting between two ghosts. Uh, now they are very serious about fighting, and somebody comes. Do like, does like this, and uh, they go out. The fighting stops. You see? So, Babharam. Uh, the attempt is very great, but the effect is little. Uh, and uh, and the ceremony uh, observed by some serious in the jungle. What they have got? They have got some leaves and flowers. That's all. What are they doing? So, uh, uh, and uh, the Prabhata Mega Dumbari. And in the morning, a uh, thundering sound of the cloud. And similarly, Dampate uh, Kalaja, I mean the war between husband and wife. Uh, so these things are to be taken as insignificant. Uh, so of course, uh, in India, the quarrel between husband and wife, nobody cares. Nobody takes very serious. Uh, the uh, husband may complain, the wife may complain, everybody says, yes, yes, that's all. I will tell you. Uh, they never go to court, but I will. You see, there is no seriousness. And actually it is fact. Uh, I have seen, I have experienced that they are dying for. But still, the husband is anxious for the wife and the wife is anxious for the husband. Uh, the rivalry is activity. Uh, uh, the husband and wife, the combination, that, that cannot be cut off. Uh, so one should tolerate this. If there is some misunderstanding, they should not go to the court for divorce. They should tell us. Uh, this is, these are some of the rules for uh, spiritual advancement. Uh. So, uh, here it is said that whether uh, this attack, uh, just like uh, serious attack, but at the same time it is broken, whether it is like a broken cloud which has no meaning, uh, no end, that's all. Is it like that? Apratishka Mahavaha Vimura Brahmanapati. Uh, Brahmanapati means advancement on spiritual success. So, he is half hazardous, half hazardous, halfway he finishes, then what is the result? Etan me samsayam Krishna. I am doubtful about this thing. Why? Now, because if this yoga system, now check for this yoga system which is to start. Now, if somebody thinks, oh, it was attempted, it was prescribed to John, and he rejected it because it is very difficult to go. Never, never, never try for any spiritual. Let us see. No. Arjun is putting there for this question so that in future people may, may not be discouraged. May not be discouraged. Therefore he is asking. What is that? Etan means Samsara and Krishna. It is uh, the, the, some of the doubts in my mind. Uh, Krishna. Shetum arhasi asirisapa, you will kindly uh, clear my doubts. 
what happens to, to this body? Who does not uh, achieve the pure, I mean, the highest perfection and success, uh, but a uh, half finish or one fourth finish, then what happens to them? Uh, uh, so, tadanna samsaya shastra chitya na dhupa padlati. I don't think that anyone can uh, eradicate my doubt except you. The Bhagavan now, Krishna is replying, Arjuna. What happens to this half finished? Half finished yogi. Yogi always remember. Yogi means either the Jnana yogi or Jnana yogi or Bhakti yogi. Yogi. Yogi does not mean simply those who are meditators. Yogi means the meditators, they are also yogi, and those who are trying to understand the absolute truth by philosophical, by theosophical way, they are also yogi, and those who are actually yogi, they are in Krishna consciousness, to yogi. So, say Bhagavan was a, now Bhagavan, the personality of Godhead, we have several times to describe the definition of Bhagavan. Bhagavan means one who has got complete control over six things. He is Bhagavan, he is God. What are, what are those six things? The Aishadhyasa Samagras, complete retest. Vidhyasa uh, Samagras. Vidhya means strength. Complete retest, complete strength. Complete knowledge. Complete beauty. Complete renunciation. Uh, and complete flame, fame. Fame. Uh, we, are, we are after some fame. I want to be famous. You want to be famous. But we are famous in a circle, in a circle, in a country, in a society. But nobody is famous like Krishna. Uh, you see? Nobody is famous like Krishna. Krishna approached, uh, advented himself on this earth five thousand years before. But just see how much famous he is still. Can you give any example in the history? So many Hitler, so many Mussolini, so many Gandhi born and went away. They are famous for several years. Nobody can be famous like Krishna. All over the world is famous. And what to speak of India? So it's complete strength. Simply complete strength. Complete riches. Complete beauty. Complete knowledge. Just see Bhagavad Gita. It was spoken by Krishna. There is no parallel. And there is no competition of Bhagavad Gita. It is such a knowledge. It is complete knowledge. So one who possesses all these six things in complete, he is God. This is the definition of God. Uh, complete strength, complete beauty, complete knowledge, complete riches, and complete redundancy. At the moment, renounce of everything. Uh, suppose I have got ten dollars, and if you ask, oh, give me all these ten dollars, so I shall ten times say before uh, renouncing these ten dollars. But uh, Krishna, he is the proprietor of all riches, but he can renounce anything. So these are the definition of Bhagavan. Here it is, uh, uh, the Bhagavan word is used. Therefore, I give you a little definition of Bhagavan. The Bhagavan Ubacha, now, because he is uh, complete in knowledge, therefore he is in a fraction, is valid. Uh, our knowledge is not complete. Uh, now, we are taking knowledge from Bhagavad Gita, from Bhagavan, uh, but there is no history that Krishna had this knowledge from any spiritual master. No. He had not to go because he's complete. There was no need of Krishna for going to any teacher. Arjuna has come to Krishna for knowledge. Because he's complete always. So the complete knowledge, the person who is in complete knowledge, we have to believe it. That's all. And that is the system. Evang Parampara Pratam, Evang Raja Sahayavidu. The system of basic knowledge 
is to receive in complete. <coughs> How it is received in complete? Just like Krishna is complete, and the knowledge received from Krishna, it is that is complete. I may not be experienced. That's a lot of uh, He is receiving the knowledge from the complete. So if we receive knowledge from Arjun, then our my knowledge is also complete. This is a there is no question of research. I cannot research. I have to receive that all. So many things spoken in the Bhagavad Gita. And we are receiving in that way. Suppose a footnik is flying on the uh, uh, outer space and you are getting knowledge uh, of the footnik flying from the newspaper. You are not going there, but you are receiving the knowledge from some authorities whom you believe. So don't you think Krishna is the highest authority? So whatever knowledge you receive from Krishna is far better than the newspaper knowledge. We are always in the lowest state. Either I read Bhagavad Gita or newspaper. I am not with this church, Sputnik. But newspaper says that Sputnik has gone 25,000 up. So I believe. So I believe the newspaper. Not that, oh, I want to see. Now can you see how Sputnik is flying? And why do you say when Bhagavad Gita is spoken, oh, I want to see? You just take complete knowledge from Krishna, the complete first, that's all. That will make you perfect. Yes? The Bhagavan was. Bhagavan was, what does he say? Partha, na eva hya, na mutra, dinas, 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 You mind that. One who is making attention for future advancement, oh, either in this life or in the next life, will never be vanished. 